What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the uh, Cool Amazing Epic uh, YouTube channel. I am most certainly the uh, host of the show slash episode slash channel. Uh, if you're brand new with us, by all means, thank you for coming along and joining us on the journey of uh, me getting $1 million and also uh, hopefully lots and lots of uh, YouTube subscriber plaques. Uh, if you've been with us all along, we appreciate your time and, uh, you know, your uh, diligence of uh, staying along for the ride on, on that uh, notion. But nonetheless, we're going to have a great day today. Uh, we're going to have a great show today, so on and so forth. This right here is going to be the uh, show for the 200 stamp uh, unboxing uh, miniseries. Basically, we got around 200 uh, stamps, and uh, I think we got them for around $2, which was an amazing price in itself. Um, and we've been basically breaking it down for the last couple of episodes, few episodes or so, and showing you guys what we got. It's been really fun. It's been really historical. You know, uh, half of these stamps are probably older than the majority of... Um, you know, the viewers out there and so on and so forth, which is uh, amazing uh, in itself, uh, which means it's it's actually been around for a while. And, uh, you know, that's that's absolutely uh, amazing. You know, different uh, provinces, different countries that I didn't even know uh, probably existed or popping up and uh, more or less uh, true pieces of uh, historical um uh context and uh dot 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 but nonetheless guys uh i think this is actually episode four of the uh unboxing of the 200 stamps so what we're going to do is basically show you guys the little package that it came in uh and that's basically what we have left guys not all too much crazy enough uh, but nonetheless, that's basically what we have left. What we're going to do is we're going to take a, uh, a little cloth full like this. And we're going to basically see what the heck we got out of that. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can get a piece of paper so I can uh, basically show you guys this... Uh, this stuff a little bit better. Uh, Farage uh, or 20. I don't know what the heck this is. I, I really don't know what it is, but let's uh, let's check it out. Let's see if that pops up. I mean, th these these uh, stamps are most certainly uh, uh, almost archaic in, in some instances. I mean, I really don't know anything about these stamps. But I've been looking at these things, and lo and behold, I've been looking them up uh, for, for some parts of them uh, just to see how much they're worth and so on and so forth. I mean, these things are, you know, going for like a dollar or two. And I mean, that's basically what we paid for the whole flipping lot, uh, you know. So, I mean, other than the whole historical, you know, factor and all of this and, you know, basically all the stuff that you can uh, possibly learn. I mean, you most certainly can probably make your money back in, in a couple of uh, these stamps alone. So uh, shout outs to, uh, to those people, uh, you know, collecting stamps and so on and so forth. This is a Nippon or a Nippon uh, 50 stamp. Seemingly it's uh, some sort of province from Japan or uh, some sort of island near Japan. Let me see if I can get my finger away from the 50. Uh, that right there is a uh, Nippon, Nippon 50 uh, stamp. Speaking of the uh, horrific uh, web camry, uh, it's coming in the mail, the micro USB card. So uh, shout outs to that and uh, good looking out on that. Uh, this right here is Posta Romana, uh, 705, uh, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Uh, 
absolutely amazing, guys. I mean, my gosh. I mean, this stuff is absolutely fucking amazing. I mean, really. It's like, you know, going back in some sort of, like, uh, time capsule or something like that, you know. Absolutely a flipping amazing. Uh, this right here is a 30 cents uh, Hong Kong stamp. With some dude seemingly on it. Uh, Hong Kong. Uh, 30 cents stamp. I mean, it's absolutely flipping uh, amazing. Uh, we have a one cent Canada postage uh, stamp with some uh, with some dude. Absolutely flipping uh, amazing. Nippon or Nippon 40, uh, 40 uh, stamp on Nippon or Nippon. Absolutely amazing. Look at that, guys. My gosh. Wow. That is flipping insane. Absolutely insane. We have a uh, RP Romina 10 stamp. Let's check it out. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's flipping amazing. Coming up next, we have a hundred uh, Netherland uh, stamp with uh, some lady uh, seemingly on the uh, stamp. Let's see where are we from the uh, hundred? Look at that! That is flipping amazing. Oh my gosh! I wonder how old these stamps are. I might have to just look them up, you know, via Google and stuff like that. If you have any info on these stamps, uh, by all means, please let us know in the comments below. We would love to, uh, you know, hear from you. This right here is seemingly uh, Polska 150. I'm guessing this, um, this Poland. I could be wrong. Uh, Polska. Goodness. Seriously, old school stamps, buddy. I mean, it, it, it seems like it's just like so flipping old. This one right here is a 35. I don't know what the heck it is. Uh, but seemingly it's from uh, one of the uh, Asian type um, Type provinces or countries, etc., etc. Look at that. That's crazy. I don't think it's it was uh, even stamped for um, used. Can you imagine that? Absolutely nuts. Seemingly another Asian province or state or country. Some sort of a flower with a nine. I mean, my goodness, the uh, the artwork, you know, and, and uh, pictures are most certainly uh, impeccably uh, detailed and so on and so forth. I mean, my gosh, how amazing. We have a we have a Australia stamp five uh, D whatever the heck that is with some uh, some lady look at that my goodness how amazing is that There was some sort of Reinhold Falls uh, staring at me from the 
midst of stamps, where are you? This right here is a PF60 Rhineland Falls uh, stamp. Without the uh, the usage uh, markings all too much on it. Look at all there. That almost looks scary. I mean, you know. Can you imagine that coming in the mail for you and staring at you? <laughs> Just joking, buddy. You're cool. You're cool, buddy. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Uh, Nippon or Nippon uh, 20 stamp uh with some sort of uh you know uh flowery or uh, greenery now this one isn't going to come up all too much seemingly because mr uh or mrs logitech doesn't really want to work all too well and seemingly has been marked as uh used This right here is seemingly a DPR Korea 50 1995 stamp. Uh, I don't even know if this thing was, I mean, it kind of feels like it was used just given the fact that, you know, I don't think there was a, too much of a bagging, but look at that, guys. DPR Korea. Absolutely ridiculous with some sort of uh, aquatic fish. DPR Korea 50 stamp. I mean, my gosh, that is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. <clears throat> Coming up next, we have a uh, Danmark uh, 5. So seemingly, I'm guessing it's some sort of uh, uh, stamp from uh, Denmark. Uh, coming up next, we have a Rhineland Falls 10 PF. Absolutely amazing. Uh, next is going to be some sort of Asian uh, province, state, or country, I'm guessing. Uh, seemingly some sort of oriental pattern, et cetera, et cetera. But I can't seem to make out where uh, the country's from. I think it says S-E-N. So, uh, you know, maybe that might break it down for any uh, stamp, uh, you know, collectors, aficionados, et cetera, et cetera, for the... Uh, markings of that stamp to let us know in the comments uh, below. Coming up next, we have a New Zealand uh, 1D postage and revenue stamp with uh, seemingly some sort of big big bird. I don't know if that's the flipping, uh, whatchamacallit? It might be something. New Zealand uh, 1D stamp. Uh, coming up next, we have a Posta Romana 705 uh, stamp. Posta Romana. Posta Romana. Look at that. My gosh. That is absolutely stunning. Wow. Absolutely cool stuff, guys. I'm telling you. Absolutely. Coming up next, we have a Douche Bundes Post 60. Uh, with some sort of... Um, Machine. 
Is there some sort of machine or some sort of something? Bundespost douche Bundespost 60. Next, we have a uh, 10 CTS Correos Mexico uh, stamp. Uh, coming up next, we have a Lituva. 20 CT 2000 stamp Lituva. Absolutely amazing, uh, you know, artwork and, and detail on, on some of these stamps. Absolutely flipping amazing. Coming up next, we have a, a Nippon or Nippon uh, 10 stamp with some sort of uh, flower. Hold that thought. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You guys like the mug though? No? Okay. Uh, four hundred or four something with some sort of birds in the background. I'm guessing it's some sort of Asian type of uh, province, state, or country. You can't really see it all too much in the detail given the fact it was uh, marked as used. But still a pretty, uh, pretty cool uh, stamp. Sadly, it was, you know, kind of used. Ugh. Netherlands, oof, 70 uh, CT stamp. With some uh, seemingly lady on there. And we have about uh, seven or so to go, guys. Seven or so to go. <clears throat> Really, this is a Suomi uh, Finland 15 stamp. Oh, some sort of uh, precinct from Japan first. Nonetheless, I think the Finland on the bottom kind of gave away some of its, uh, you know, origin. Suomi 15. Uh, is uh, 450 RF uh, posters with some sort of uh, do whatever on the postage Uh, coming up next, we have a 30 CTS Espana uh, Corios stamp. Which this one is kind of larger than the majority of them, seemingly. With some guy uh, on there. It's kind of tough to make out given the fact there's like a big stamp. 
Eu já tenho com os tempos. This right here seemingly is a one uh, something CCCP stamp. So I'm guessing this is um, some sort of a USSR type uh, thing. We have a Rhineland uh, Falls 12 PF stamp. Some sort of Asian uh, precinct or uh, country or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, One twenty. And uh, last but not least. Uh, seemingly, we have a uh, Asian country or uh, province or precinct uh, 800. Um, stamp, whatever the heck that is. And guys, that's basically about that for, I think it's episode three or four of the uh, 200 Stamps unboxing. Absolutely amazing stuff, guys. Absolutely. If you break it down and, you know, basically uh, look up probably one by one of these amazing stamps, you can almost absolutely imagine what type of amazing stuff you can actually find, uh, you know, even even more than, you know, just looking at them, you know, and, and I do apologize for not giving, you know, it's, it's uh, due credit uh, for the stamps that we have given the fact of the webcam and, you know, obviously the picture that is being shown, because I mean, th these are most certainly uh, historical, uh, you know, almost artifacts, you know, and nonetheless, I mean, they should be probably cherished as a uh, you know, such, and in some cases, in some instances, obviously. Uh, but nonetheless, I appreciate you guys tagging along and uh, watching this amazing uh, uh, piece of history of, of uh, you know, historical, uh, you know, happenings and so on and so forth. If you like this type of content, if you like this episode, please give us a like. If you don't like it, by all means, give us a dislike. Uh, you know, by all means, comment. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please unsubscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, and, and by, by most means, uh, please take care of yourselves, uh, your loved ones, and your family, because uh, we are most certainly still on this uh, crazy, crazy ride. But uh, you know the shtick, and you know the drill. Love, peace, and please quit spreading that disease. Adios, guys. Adios.